falling everywhere. Like, I've never seen anybody more contaminated with lice in my life. And I was like, oh, my God. I've just, like, hung out with, like, so many people and probably infected them if I have it. I need to get checked. So um, my mom was like, well, I'm Dean found this place on the Internet called Lice Away Today. And I'm going to take him there. Or, like, she already did, like, a home remedy that, like got rid of all the lice but she wasn't sure if it was all gone so she was like I'm gonna take him there just to like have a professional check and see if I got it all if there's a lice there and she's like you should come too just like come with us and they can check your head too and I was like all right sure so we go to the place my mic is popping a ton is this better sorry I wasn't looking at the chat but now I am sorry I don't want the story to be reading my mic popping is this good Usually if I put it higher where you can't hear my nose breathing through it, it works better. Okay, so, where was I? We go to the place called Lice Away Today, and the guy there that's like running in, like checking people's heads, is my former drama teacher from middle school. <laughs> and my brother's teacher also, drama teacher. So we we're like, oh hey, and it was really awkward because like, he just got fired from the school, and I don't know, I think he was like embarrassed about that but like we didn't care we were like oh hey mr holes what's up i shouldn't say his last name but anyways so he checks my head and he like goes through all of my head and he doesn't see anything like with a little comb and then like at the very end right before he's like about to be done checking he's like oh i just saw a live bug uh it scurried away man those things are hard to catch but i saw a live bug and my mom was like well did you find any eggs because like shouldn't there be like a bunch of eggs and he's like well doesn't matter i saw a live bug that means there's infestation so he was like you need to do this 180 eighty dollar treatment right now if you don't want to contaminate other people the mic's good and okay so yeah he was like you need to do this 180 eighty dollar treatment right now if you don't want to contaminate other people it's very important and i was like we were like oh shit i have lice and now we have to pay 100 dollars and he's like yeah the, the at-home remedies they don't work nothing works only this 180 dollar treatment works so this is a little suspicious my mom was suspicious but me at this point i i didn't even suspect it because i trusted my former drama teacher he is my middle school teacher like i thought i had a good relationship with this man i trusted him so i was like oh my god this is horrible this is the worst thing that could happen dean i hate you for infesting me um so anyways uh luckily the saving grace in all this is we didn't go through with the treatment because we couldn't because um they were like, all right, we just got to ask you a few questions first and we can do the treatment. So, uh, number one, just got to make sure you don't have any cranial implants. And I was like, I do have cranial implants. So they couldn't do it for like health reasons. Like you're not allowed to do that specific treatment if the person has metal in their head or anything. So I got lucky. I dodged a bullet there. And so then they were like, oh, well, then I guess we can do this like way cheaper treatment where we just rub oil all over your hair and put it in a shower cap and you sleep like that and i was like okay and i don't know why they didn't offer that in the first well i know why they didn't offer that in the first place but like it's they didn't tell us about it till after we couldn't do the really expensive one but i'm sure it was just as if that's just as effective a treatment anyways i did that and then they were like okay well you have to come in tomorrow and then we have to you have to pay us like forty dollars to comb out your hair and I was like, what? Why do we have to pay you $40 to comb out my hair after the treatment? So we were like, okay, we'll come. But then, like, when I got home, I was talking to my mom about it. And we were like, this is, we're totally getting scammed. Like, do I have to go back tomorrow? And she's like, no, you don't have to go back tomorrow. I'll comb out your hair for you. So, yeah, that's what I did. I just went to my mom's instead. And my mom combed out my hair. And what's supposed to happen is if the treatment works, you come out a bunch of dead lice and you come out a bunch of eggs. But nothing came out of my hair. Like, we used those thin lice combs and combed everything. Not a single bug. Nothing came out of my hair. So they were totally ripping me off. I never had lice, for the record. I trust the recently fired man. He won't scam. I mean, he said he was fired. Okay, I should probably start the game. Um, sorry for talking at you so long. I kind of got lost in my story. Don't ban me for no game content, please. I'm about to solo queue or duo queue. But, uh, what was I gonna say? Okay, he said he got fired because, um, 
this girl was like he was trying to get out of his classroom and all the students were holding the door closed so he couldn't get out because they like thought it was funny and then when he finally got out he was like everybody sit down right now i'm gonna have a stern talking to you and this girl tripped as she was sitting down and like banged her knee into a bench and she had a bruise on it and she told the administration that mr my teacher pushed her and so like as soon as she said that they like immediately fired him like after working there 20 years they didn't ask any questions like he had witnesses apparently that were like saying that he didn't push her but like they didn't ask any questions they're just like gotta leave campus never come back it's over (laughs) goodbye but so i i don't know i believe him i believe him that he didn't push the students i mean i think I, i don't know i believe some other things too and i regret it I had those ninja lice. I'm pretty sure I never had lice, just for the record. For anybody who wanted to know, I'm pretty sure it's only the dirt mason that had the lice. That cash money, he gotta make that money. Yeah, I mean, I don't blame him for like wanting to make some money. Like, I respect the hustle, but I'm glad that I. Well, just, I'm just glad that I couldn't go through with the treatment that he wanted me to do. <laughs>